Hello everyone, it's been a while. Uh, so I'm gonna do a uh, thoughts of after living in for a few weeks. I think I've lived in for around two, three weeks, can't remember exactly. So I will start from the entrance area. Uh, this will be quite a long video since there's quite a bit of things to talk about. The good, the bad, and some other things to think of. So first off, uh, I can't show you the gate, but the gate is fabricated, customized. And I love it. Uh, my idea actually had to do the communication with the manufacturer about how the gate should look like. He had to draw it exactly to the pattern. And it's been a great help for him to make it work for the manufacturer to have the gate created. So let's on to the digital lock. Uh, it's been great. So I actually have the digital lock button over here at the shelf area. So the bad thing is that I have to press the button and then I can go out. Uh, if I put the button at the gate, it's not safe since it's too accessible. So pros and cons, if I put it here, I'm not even sure if it's able to just poke it. Uh, since I always open the gate, or open the door, I mean. So it's best to put it somewhere safer inside here, but the bad thing is the accessibility. Okay. One uh, thing is that this shelf for my slippers and shoes uh, is not as wide as I hoped it would be. So as you can see here, uh, it fits two and three quarter of my footwear. Initially, I hoped that it's actually just nice for three pair, but because my foot is quite wide, not as good. Barely fit. If I squeeze it, it may fit. Maybe the, especially the slipper is very thick. Maybe that's why. So one thing to note about my uh, carpentry of the storage area is that it's very good to have this uh, customizable shelving, I don't know what it's called, but it allows me to actually shift things around. So some place is actually standard height, some place is very big. And I can even make this whole place in the open area to put like pegboard or some other uh, design if I need to, if I want to. So it's a very good uh, thing to have for your shelvings. It's the same for all the other places for my shelving. So if you see, I actually remove this particular shelf just to put more bulky items. So it's been great to have this. Mm. Okay, so that's it for the entrance area. Uh, okay, so to the living area, I love my table, coffee table, which is basically can lift it up, can open it to a big table. I think I mentioned this before. Uh, so, so far is so far so good. One thing to highlight is that those so far without a headrest, right? Not that comfortable. It can be better if you purchase those uh, headrests just to slot in. I'm getting that from Taobao. Uh, it's stuck in China. Oh, uh, because of China lockdown due to COVID, my furnishing, my tables is stuck there. So my house is not fully furnished. I'm just putting this video out there for my uh, part one thoughts. Yeah. Okay, on to my TV. Uh, as you can see here, I actually got this... Uh, I don't know, TV mount, uh, which is basically extendable, rotatable, and tiltable. So I love it because uh, the sofa area actually, and also the hammock area is for seatings and relaxation. Sometimes I would like my TV to be towards on the left side, and I can shift it to the left side, or even closer to the hammock area. So it's an important aspect for me. Aesthetic-wise, not so good, since it's not flattened to the wall. But to me, functional wise is more important. I gotten the wrap to tidy up my cables, but still, it just came in like two days ago. I haven't had the time to do that. And I gotten the backlight for behind my TV. Uh, Broadlink again, pretty good. The main reason is that the TV itself reflect uh, lights easily. Uh, it's OLED and Due to this, 
while it's at night or while it's uh, bright outside. It's okay, but it's better if you have lights off and only have backlight, so it's the experience is better. For the sound portion, I actually got a Yamaha soundbar, Yamaha, sorry. And I would recommend, highly recommend, you have to get a soundbar mount along with the TV mount. It's separate items. So you can actually just place the soundbar right at the bottom of your TV. Uh, you can always mount it. Everything is mounted fixed to the wall. But this allows you to have better flexibility of just taking it out and putting it on. Yeah. Mm, the soundbar itself, I will not comment much. I got this because it's quite a good basic soundbar. Uh, not those very expensive ones. I think you only got it for two nine nine. Yeah. Uh, with subwoofer, which you can see from here. So, uh, not bad for soundbar. That's, I think, better soundbar, but more expensive. I just want something without a subwoofer, which is basically just putting on at a TV. Yeah. Let's move on to the kitchen. So, I got a Stara. Oh, I don't think it focused properly. Stara. Oops, oops. Yeah. This makes life so much easier. So, uh, last time I, I used to, I have frequently drink tea. So, I hate boiling water and waiting for the water to boil. Basically, this is so much convenience in using a water dispenser with multi heat selection. So, cold water, warm water, hot water. And I don't need to boil water anymore. So, it saves a lot of time. Convenience is actually the main thing I get a water dispenser. And for the basin, uh, love-hate relationship, I would say. There's too many different items that is with the basin. And it's good items, just that I don't have any place to put it when I'm not using them. So I just put it on the basin itself. So I think it's a negative point if... It, it, it would be better if there was a place to put all this stuff. Uh. Yeah, but for me, no. The quality of the chopping board is not good at all. So highly recommended to get another chopping board which fits the basin. Yeah. Then the soup dispenser. This is very good. It's very quiet and it's very smooth. So it also uh, display the temperature. So all in all, I love this soup dispenser. Let me wash my hands. Okay. I got this Bosch, um, what is this thing called? Blender, multi, multi blender, multi-purpose blender, uh, which is a gift when you get this hop. So I don't have anything to compare to. So not much comments here. It's, Good, there's nothing bad about it, so so far so good. Okay, to my other side, my fridge. It's a bit blur, why? Ah, eh? eh, never mind. Lah. Okay, so I got this Mitsubishi uh, 5 door fridge. I love this fridge, it's small, compact, and functional. So if you see, I think it's, I think must press, oh, there, you see. You will see here that's actually indicating what the five compartment is. So the normal fridge is on top with a super cool inside and ice and super freezer, freezer and fresh table compartments. I love the ice making compartment. You just need to fill up water or water, which they provide, slot it in, and you have all the ice available for you. I got this multi-purpose pressure cooker. It's great for a uh, one to two person, and basically, it's just, I just use it for cooking rice and other stuff. Multi-purpose, simple for me, just one item, which is similar to this Samsung hot glass I got. It's a 
uh, while we purchase, I will say myself, because initially I want to get, I use microwave a lot, and I also want an air fryer. So initially I intend to get two different items, maybe the Ninja Foodie or something with microwave. But in the end, I opt for the Samsung Hot Blast because it has frying function, oven function, grill function, and obviously Hot Blast is similar to a uh, mixture of microwave and oven. So it is a multi-purpose, I would say, microwave oven. So the best about this is that since it is just a microwave, it's relatively easy to clean compared to a air fryer, which is very difficult to clean. And that's always the con. It's not as good as air fryer because the air, the air blast is from top to bottom or from the side only. There's no bottom up. So I believe it's not that good for frying. But I tried to get a basket. So you will be having the food in the middle with the air blowing even from the bottom. Maybe it'll be better. But all in all, I love this purchase. Makes life a lot easier. Convenient. So to the service here, uh, I think I mentioned about this uh, installation of my hanger bar, which makes things a lot easier compared to just putting out in the bar outside. So I just hang everything here and then just push it out to the window and you'll be hanging my stuff. I don't need to like have clothes hanging on the bar itself. Just have it here, push it out, push it in. I got a Samsung 2-in-1 uh, washer and dryer. I prefer the washer and dryer in one because it's much more convenient. So compared to separate devices where you have to shift the load around. Highly recommend 2-in-1 compared to having two differently, but I believe different people have different needs. It spend more time drying, but it's much more convenient since I just leave it in the uh, machine itself. To the instant gist heater, gist he heater is a love-hate relationship. So it's good compared to having a storage heater because you do not need to wait for it to be heated up. Uh, the bad thing about this is that when I have to take a bathtub, take a bath, um, filling up the water in my bathtub, it has protection measure in place to prevent overheating. So when you try to have a lot of hot water, it actually stops when it detects overheating. So I have to find a right temperature to set, have yet to find out if there's a optimal temperature to have long running hot water yet. Yeah. So that's it for the kitchen. Let's move on to the temporary room. Okay. As you can see, I have used ceiling hooks for quite some uh, portion with all my hammocks hanging in place. I'm actually getting new hammocks for a more comfortable one. Uh, this is actually a bed hammock, but I'm getting a seat hammock because of no backrest here. I love the hammocks, relax a bit, yeah. And as you can see, this very big hammock is actually just hooked up here as a temporary place. Initially, it was hooked up to the hook over here for a bit. Uh, for a bit hammock, it's not very... The negative point is that it's not comfortable at all to have it uh, hang to the ceiling since it will dip when you lie on it. So not recommended, but if you hook it from wall to wall, it's much more comfortable. Uh, let's see how if I can find a hammock with support, because if you don't support it, it will just dip in the middle. Not very good. Yeah. Mm, I got a two-in-one humidifier and air purifier from Philips. I find it good. Maybe it's psychology effect. Uh, the dehumidifier is very strong. If I do not, if I do on it for a long period of time, the tank fill up quite fast. So I have to empty the water tank frequently. There is this hole 
where you can actually just plug a hose and auto disperse the water but you have to be near the toilet for that as well as have an electric point so I do not have an electrical point near the toilet so I can't do that uh, so if you plan to have this do plan for electric point near the toilet for auto dispensing of water for your humidifier dehumidifier Dyson vacuum V11 is the best right now for me it's the strongest suction vacuum uh, love it I think there's quite a few reviews out there mm. I won't do anymore since I'm just an amateur vacuum user. I got the Roborock S7 Max V. Uh, I haven't, the dog is still not here yet, so I will not be giving a full review. I find it's very good in terms of functionality and cleaning. Uh, so far, okay, I'm not, I'm not. I have not used any other vacuum robot before so I can't comment much but really love it yeah makes life easier oh uh, for the automated blinds I actually want to highlight a con other than this con everything else is good so this particular one have been giving a lot of uh, creaking noises when you automate when you actually work fun working on it so that's this ease high pitch sound hate it yeah but uh, because it's inside I can't or don't know how to really remove the sound have to think about that or contact the seller about this yeah okay that's it for the living area and kitchen let's move on to the toilet oh wait I forgot one part let's move back to the kitchen again if you all notice my compact plus actually switched from clear black to this lineup slit pattern uh, it's actually a mistake made previously so I would highly recommend not to use pure color pure color is very difficult to maintain there's water stain easily identifiable previously and for this area, I don't know why or how it got scratches on it, which is so easily to be like seen. Having this texture and pattern top makes it so much easier to uh, maintain and less obvious to uh, damage. Yeah, highly recommended to get patterns uh, texture as much as possible. So let's move on to the toilet. Okay, this is my second auto dispenser. Let me let you hear it. It's so much louder, and this is why I mentioned that the previous one is better. And as you can see, there's these marks when it's clean in texture. So the maintenance requires much more effort if it's plain in color or shinier texture uh, surfaces is much easier to maintain yeah uh, one thing to note uh, this mirror cabinet actually got exchanged by the seller Akikun uh, why? I don't know why also but the original installation actually is the wrong model <laughs> it's actually grey so this is the right one how it happens I noticed the site have those marking and I contacted them and they came down and then noticed that it's actually the wrong one and they switch it out for me yeah love their service the guy is very friendly highly recommended uh, Hera I think it's Lucky Kun uh, selling on behalf of Hera buff, buff yeah love their service mm, I mentioned about this bidet spray uh, from Taobao right actually I switched it out already because it was leaking so the original Taobao one I remove it I got this from Lazada or Shopee it have the same function of uh, switching the between the single nose and the pressure nose one additional stuff is that this handle if you push it to the back 
it holds it and it actually has this water spray so I can just soak to single nose and multi pressure nose it's better than the one I got previously few dollars is fine mm, cleaning tools everything good okay let's move on to the activity room if you notice the very big bit here it's actually my temporary bit this is an air mattress it's very comfortable if you want to have a temporary uh, bed right highly recommend using an air mattress why you can keep it in a small bag if you don't need it i was trying this out a few days back when my family was here and they like how it feels it's actually better than some cheap bed outside yeah although the it may not last for more than 10 20 years i believe but you may not use it as frequent and can keep it so i will say if you know if you know that you will not use it frequently but to get something that you can store so it comes with a electric pump inbuilt. It's called the Intec Durabin Plus. Yeah, it's I bought the tallest one because my mom is easier for her to just sit on it and get up easier compared to a low bed. Yeah, and I don't need a bed frame for such a thick bed. Just use it as it is. So this is my gym room. I plan to install my another leaf at this corner towards the left side. So from here to here. But the original connector doesn't allow you to bend and the bendy connector is out of stock. So I have to wait for that to be ready available and I can install my another leaf. Okay, so my cushion is not enough, still waiting for Taobao. It's stuck in China because of uh, COVID lockdown, along with a lot of other furnitures. So basically that's why my furniture is not really yet. There's supposed to be a table here and a cabinet outside, but it's stuck there. Oh, one funny thing about the mirror here, a lot of my... Uh, friends relative thought that this is a cabinet which is not so they thought that there's extra space which is a good thing since it deceived them that this whole thing is a cabinet which, thought, which is not actually it's just a wall the cabinet is actually the master bedroom wardrobe area yeah so as you notice the light just turned on by itself because of the sensor I placed my sensor here Initially, it was up at the door here. I actually tried to mess with it and use too much strength to pull it up. So you can see a mark here. I have to get new double-sided tape for my sensor. And I also got this uh, sensing lamp from Taobao. Uh, because the inside is not very bright, so I got it in just to wave a bit and the light will turn on. Mm, nothing much here except for my electronic. This area is practically all my charging point and electronics point. Yeah. The master bathroom. Okay. Uh, the bidet seat. Okay. Let's talk a bit about this. I originally get this toilet because it's actually the long toilet bowl which the seat is actually quite comfortable but I actually want to get a bidet seat so that I can experience the bidet when I shit <laughs> but the bidet seat itself is quite thin so it's not as comfortable if you notice this bidet seat is actually thin shorter than the original uh, rim so when I test the original toilet it's not with the bidet seat and the bidet seat is not as comfortable so please take note if you want to get a bidet seat try it out if the rim is comfortable yeah this is my temporary bathtub 
and this is my hood towel so basically it's a towel and hood in one i just wear it on and then just rub myself for drying myself yeah um, oh i got this uh like this thing called the toothpaste and toothbrush sanitizer so basically this is a uh, UV ray sanitizer with a toothpaste uh, dispenser. So I have to close it first. If I press this button, you can see below it's actually UV to desanitize, to sanitize your toothbrush. And when I open it, it actually auto off for protection purpose. And this is basically how it dispense toothpaste. Yeah. Oops, I put it too high, sorry. Didn't get to see properly. Normally it will work just fine. <laughs> I made a mess of myself. <laughs> yeah, I have yet to try other toothpaste. Uh, because this is the thicker one. I'm not sure if the those aluminium non-plastic one will work. So yet to try. Need to try that out. Mm, okay, one bad thing about this carpentry. I love the carpentry by the way. All the carpentry work done is awesome. I'll give it 10 out of 10. I actually requested for having my drawer and my cabinet for my electrical point all on this side. So it's further away from my bed and nearer to the center of the house for my Wi-Fi point. But one bad thing is when you have the drawer pull up, the door will get blocked. I can live with it lah, actually. I just want to highlight this if you hate this kind of design. But to me it's fine. Because at the bottom, right, if I don't use drawer, it's difficult to access. So drawer at the bottom is a plus for me. Okay, let's move on to the master bedroom. Nothing much. So you can see a plug here. This is actually connected to the USB points available within the bed frame itself. Just to share, the brick frame is cheap. I got it from Taobao. The installation price is expensive. Yeah, more expensive than a bed frame. <laughs> so, uh, please get a better bed frame just to justify your installation. Nah, my just as anyhow say on. But I love, I like the bed frame a lot. Have a lot of storage. So this behind is a storage. Above shelvings, here shelvings. Under there's also a lot of storage. So there's a lot of storage for my bed frame, which I love it. I haven't decided on my curtains or blinds or my master bedroom yet. This is actually a cheap curtain rod uh, that is not fixed. You can actually just pull it down. And this is a very cheap IKEA curtain, which is not, you see, the length is actually not enough. Uh, and the width is not enough, the length is too uh, too long. My vacuum robot actually got stuck whenever it comes here. So please note that if you have a vacuum robot or plan to have one, no curtain should be floor on the floor. It makes it very difficult for the vacuum robot to uh, clean and you have to manually pull it out. It's not good at all. Yeah. So this is yet to be decided yet. I think that's it. Oh, Tencel bed sheet is awesome. Yeah, Tencel. Mm, I think that's it for the for my thoughts of living in for two three weeks. All in all, awesome. And I also need to throw out some rubbish. I'm thinking about recycling, putting it in a carousel, or I don't know yet. Actually. The keyboard and the speaker is 40. It's usable but 40. Have to think about. I think I will put it on carousel for free. Let's see how. Okay, that's it. Thank you all very much.